about four years ago, my first open water swim uh, was for a charity to raise funds to build a school in a rural area. And I swam from Mamzum Toti to, to Amkamas, which is probably one of the sharkiest stretches along the South African coastline for Zambezis and, and Whites. Uh, and that was about 16 k's. And I had a, had a young boy, I uh, had a, a little uh, boy, Nicholas, uh, about four years ago. He's four years old uh, a few days ago. And so I thought it was a good time to do another long swim and prepare for it. And I wanted something that was more local rather than going overseas and doing it. So I just think no one's done. I'm straight to Durban. It's, it's a good challenge. And, uh, the, and there are many reasons why I'm doing it. You know, one of them, obviously, is I dedicate everything to, to my little son. Uh, and the other is, I, I really believe that uh, uh, I'm, a, I'm chairman of Durban Surf and I'm a volunteer. I've been a volunteer my entire life. Uh, and this is to all volunteers that have saved lives over the last 85 years that, you know, I think we are the, the unsung heroes of the, of the beach public. And I think uh, maybe it's time for the public to step up and say, when am I going to volunteer or let's thank a lifesaver today. The most important thing in an open water swim for me, and I know it's different for many others, for me is to shut the mind down as soon as I can. The longer it stays active, thinking what, how, where, how many more am I getting there, it's exhausting. As a pool swimmer, you are concerned about distance and time. Everything's a record. In open water swimming, it's about distance and stroke. But what happens is I went out way too fast and by the two hour mark I'd realized I'd overshot and I had another four or five hours in the water. I was in trouble. Uh, going good time? Uh, hopefully you'll be doing four an hour so very good, I just need a wee. <laughs> that was this crazy fella, what an incredible attempt, eh? Go Jules! from Virginia Airport to Blue Lagoon, I was in such pain, not, not cardiovascularly, but my shoulders, on every stroke, I was excruciating pain. And I actually had, have no idea how I made it. I just sort of stroke after stroke after stroke. I lost how I've been hell. Blue Lagoon just killed me. Uh, another hour at least, eh? Good hour. How are you feeling? Uh, I'm alright. Uh, muscles sore, but I'm, I'm okay. Uh, do you have any more cramp lock? <laughs> the weirdest thing happened when I got past Blue Lagoon and I could see the city of Durban four or five k's away just I was no more no further pain coming into Durban that we got joined by a lot more boats and a lot more people and then to my surprise and I didn't know it but my my, my two siblings my brother Mark and my younger sister Amory they met me at about Snake Park and it was just great to swim that last K, K and a half with my brother and sister who have done so much and been such a part of my 
my swimming career and my life. Open water swimming really challenges the human spirit. And the reward at the end, the, the just amazing sense of accomplishment to look from one part of a coastline to another part and see this amazing distance traveled. It's, I'd say it's the last frontier of human endeavor, swimming. Everyone's done everything else, but swimming is the real, real challenge left on this planet. Just the beach at North Beach. Yeah. Challenging. Yeah, muscles are finished. Well, great, great. Yeah, yeah, no, let's go. Come change, thank you. Thank you. So I can make it. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thank you.